there's, there's been much uh, agreement about the need to increase polyunsaturated fats. But there is also concern about our omega-6 fatty acids being inflammatory due to their production of uh, inflammatory eicosanoids. So I'm wondering about the message of increasing polyunsaturated fats without really saying a lot about the omega-3s being a necessary component of that. And I'm worried about the omega-6s, so I wonder if you could comment about that. Yes, it's amazing how far a myth can go without any data to support it. Uh, and I, I think I agree with uh, Dr. Culler that the change that, uh, uh, and the encouragement to increase omega-6s uh, during the 1960s, 1970s had an enormous benefit on reduction of cardiovascular disease. We went from about 3% of energy to about 7% of energy from omega-6s. Uh, so if we try to go backwards, and there's people out there wanting to reduce omega-6s because of this hypothetical inflammation, uh, and that would be that would increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. We know that very well. It would uh, lead to higher LDL. And there have been carefully controlled studies now that have looked at inf uh, feeding different levels of omega-6s and looking at inflammatory markers, and they don't show any adverse effects. And that's partly because there are many other pathways by which omega-6s operate besides uh, possibly competing with omega-3s on elongation and desaturation pathways. For example, that uh, omega-6s downregulate NF-kappa B, which is a major controller of, of inflammation, and they also uh, are an insulin sensitizer acting at the part gamma. Uh, and uh, if we reduce uh, insulin resistance and improve sensitivity, that would be anti-inflammatory. So they're just not... Uh, Omega-6s are not for a Great response. Agreed.